video, we walk through the steps needed to connect your Instagram business account to Buffer. Due to the complex nature of Facebook and Instagram's API, you might sometimes run into some issues getting Instagram properly connected. In this video, we're going to walk through some troubleshooting steps to help you get up and running as smoothly as possible. There are three reasons you might not see your Instagram business account listed when you're working through the steps to connect your account to Buffer. Your personal Facebook profile that you're using to link your Instagram business account to Buffer does not have the admin role under the existing pages area. Your Instagram account has not been properly converted to a business account with the Facebook page linked to it. Or permissions for Buffer to access your Facebook account have not been properly set up. Let's walk through the steps needed to ensure that we have each of these three aspects set up properly. First, let's make sure that your Instagram account and Facebook page are properly linked together. To do this, head over to Facebook and navigate to the list of pages that you have access to. Click on the page that's linked to your Instagram business account. Next, click Settings in the left-hand sidebar, then click on the Instagram tab. Once in the Instagram settings, you should see your Instagram account connected to the page. You should also see a section that says Business Contact Information. If you don't see this information, it means that your Instagram account is either not connected to your Facebook page or it hasn't been converted to a business account. Let's walk through three different screens that you might see and how to resolve each scenario. If you want to skip this section, feel free to click on the next chapter entitled Facebook Admin Access. First, if you see a button that says Connect Account, it means that your Instagram account is not linked to your Facebook page. Please click on the Connect Account button and walk through the steps shown to complete the process. Then try connecting your Instagram account to Buffer once again. If you have issues walking through these steps on your desktop or laptop, you may also open the Instagram app on your mobile device and convert your Instagram to a business account then link it to a Facebook page that way. Next, if you see a button that says Switch Now, it means that your Instagram account is linked to your Facebook page but it hasn't been converted to a business account yet. Click Switch Now and then follow the on-screen prompts to convert your Instagram account to a business account. Then try connecting your Instagram account to Buffer once again. Finally, if you see a button that says Review Connection, it means that the account must be confirmed before third-party applications are able to verify the connection. Please click on the button and follow the prompts to confirm. If you encounter issues with this process, you might need to reach out to Facebook support in order to confirm the connection. Once you've made sure that your Instagram business account and Facebook page are properly linked, we'll need to make sure that your personal Facebook profile has the admin role on the page that's linked to your Instagram account. Even if you feel sure that you're an admin, I urge you to go through these steps with me just so we don't hit any hiccups in the connection process. From there, go to the Facebook page connected to the Instagram account that you wish to connect then click on the Settings tab, then Page Roles, and then scroll to the existing Page Roles area. You'll need to see your own personal profile listed as an admin under the existing Page Roles section. If you have any other role, such as Editor, Advertiser, or anything else, then you'll not be able to authorize the connection. In this case, you'll need to get in touch with your page admin and ask them to grant you the admin role, or alternatively have them connect the Instagram account to your Teams Buffer account instead. Once you spot your name, also take note if the image to the left of your name is your profile picture or a briefcase icon. If it's a briefcase icon, you have the correct Facebook admin access and can skip ahead to the next chapter in the video. If you see your profile image on the left of your name and you don't see the briefcase icon and you don't see the page owner section, then you have the correct Facebook admin access and can skip ahead to the next chapter in the video. If you see your profile image next to your name and you see a briefcase or capital letter icon next to the page name under page owner, please continue watching this video to learn how to adjust your Facebook page role to admin. If you don't have a briefcase next to your name, you'll need to ask the owner of the Facebook Suite account to get you set up. Feel free to share this video with them or you can share the Help Center article linked here. Let's walk through the steps that they'll need to follow. First, the owner of the Business Suite account will need to head to their Facebook Business Suite settings, or you can click on the link shown here. If you land on a page with multiple Business Suite accounts, first click on the account to ensure the desired Facebook page is selected. If you don't see the Business Suite account that you're looking for, then you aren't properly set up as an admin within the Business Suite account, 
and you'll want to ask someone else from your team to lend a hand. There are two places that you'll need to check to ensure full access has been set up. The first place is under the Users, then People section, and then under the Accounts and Pages section. Let's go through each one. First, click on the People tab under the User section and ensure that your team member's name is added to the list and that they have the Manage Page setting toggled on. Next, click on the Pages tab under the Account section and ensure that the name of the person you'd like to give admin access to is added to the list and that they have the Manage Page setting toggled on. Great, your business suite is all set up and your team members should now be able to connect your Facebook page or associated Instagram account to Buffer. Now that we've confirmed both that Instagram is properly linked to your Facebook page and that you're an admin of the Facebook page, we can go ahead and move on to ensuring that Buffer has all of the permissions required to access your Facebook account. To do this, click on the small drop-down arrow at the top right of your screen and then click Settings and Privacy then Settings. From there, click on Business Integrations on the left-hand side. Find Buffer in the list of integrations and click View and Edit. In the pop-up window, we need to ensure that all toggles are toggled and all checkboxes are checked in all sections. It's essential that all pages are checked off because Facebook is using an account-wide permission and even if one page is not selected, we won't be able to post on your behalf. Once you've checked all pages, click Save. If you do not see any pages listed, it means that all pages are already checked off and you do not need to make any changes here. All right, once you've walked through these steps, you can head back over to Buffer and try connecting your Instagram business account to Buffer once again. If you followed along with me here, you should be able to connect your Instagram business account to Buffer smoothly. Feel free to watch the video entitled Connecting Your Social Channels Instagram if you'd like to follow along in the connection process.